how's it going guys welcome back to the series mad about python and this is the 22nd video in this series and in this video i'll be showing you how you can overwrite on top of labels now we have seen this method earlier using the dot destroy method something like this and you give your label name right here like my label and then you do the dot destroy method to destroy it now the problem with this method was in case you want to get the data back from the label and use it somewhere else or you want to print that thing again the dot destroy method will completely destroy your label and your data cannot be retrieved so in this uh, we will see two other methods and a shortcut method uh, which will be used to overwrite on top of labels now the f the first method we'll be seeing that is known as pack forget it looks something like this your label name and pack forget this is a inbuilt function available in your tkinter same way we have something known as grid forget yep so we'll see the examples using pack forget and grid forget uh, the basic steps are if you are using pack in your program you have to use pack forget and in case you are using the gridding mechanism using rows and columns you have to do the grid forget and at last I will show you another shortcut where without using pack forget and grid forget you can overwrite on labels so let's get started now we will make a simple program having one entry field and one button and, uh, and that button when pressed will print a hello message to the user and uh, there will be a delete button also to delete the text from the label so if you have seen we have used uh, entry boxes earlier so i go e equals and i can put entry i want this inside my root and then i give some width to this and width i can give as 18 and also we have seen in the previous video in case you want to give height parameter to your uh, your uh, entry field you can give by using fonts so fonts let's keep it simple like Arial and uh, you can give the size as 20 so that will give the height to your entry field you simply go e dot pack first we are using pack and later we'll change this to grid and see how this works great so you'll create a button b1 you give uh, the keyword button and again button you want inside your root widget so root and uh, you want to give some text to this button so i'll just skip uh, name here and then button so it will take command so we'll keep the command as uh, click and then you want to pack this so b1 dot pack so you have done that you can close your program root dot main loop okay so what else do we need we need a delete button also so i'll just create my delete button so delete button equals a button which will be inside root and some text to the button just give it delete text yep that should be fine and button is also taking command so we'll give delete yep delete is done and then delete button you're gonna pack this once you're done with the button you need to define the functions so go here gives leave some gap here and if you notice on uh, the first six lines are the same again you give the icon title and geometry it remains the same so let's go def and our first function will be click so i'll just name it click and then inside click uh, i want to give some label to print so my label this will be of type label easy it will be inside root and then you want to give some text and text i'll just give a variable as hello user and this I have to give before the label so hello user will be nothing but the name you give in the entry field our entry field is nothing but e so I'll get it like this so I'll give hello plus e 
dot get method uh, easy guys this is a python function to get the value from the entry box uh, let's say key yeah we have to give some gap also here now it look nice so once you have done that you have to give font to the label why not now we have uh, mastered the font area so you can use fonts so i'll keep it arial give some size like 30 and then i have to pack my label so my label dot pack as simple as that and uh, also we want a user to refresh the label so we have seen this in previous video also like e dot delete method to just clear the window you give zero because it's like python index the first element of the index is starting from zero so e and end so you give zero and end inside the parentheses and uh, one more thing we have to disable the state of the button so once it is clicked it will take the user to delete button once the user clicks delete then only it will allow second value so you can do that by using the button and the button is nothing but b1 okay so you can give b1 like this and using square brackets inside that you can put state now state of the button i want it disabled yep so this click uh, function is done let's just uh, create our delete function now so def delete i hope i have given delete as the name yeah def delete and then inside delete we want our label yep now to delete it we have to overwrite the label now i have uh, showed you the method in the first part of this video using pack forget or grid forget now as you can see we are using pack here so we can only use pack forget so i can forget the label like this using label so my label is nothing but uh, this one my label so once the user has clicked the button it will show hello and the username using the get method but we want to delete it and overwrite it so my label dot pack forget so my label pack forget and uh, once you have done that okay it's a problem in addition yeah pack forget and then I want to give my b1 state again so my state will be nothing but because I want my delete button to be in a state normal when the user has entered the value such that it will allow the user to delete the value that's why the state normal but the click button will be disabled because it will wait for the user to delete the value and then re-enter some new value okay I think that's enough for this let's bring it back up here okay let's go ahead and run this program and check how to overwrite on the label so I'll just run this okay so guys uh, I'm getting an error here my label is not defined inside delete the problem here was my label was exclusive to this function that was my mistake to make out to fix this thing you have to give global so you have to give global my label such that it can be used outside some other function now it will be fixed when i debug it and this program does very basic stuff like uh, when i give the name something like this and when i click name here it will give me a hello and when i click delete text and it will disappear that's how we are using pack forget now pack forget is uh, quite simple because you are using pack around your program everywhere pack as you can see so it will just forget the label you can give some other value like uh, this and give this it will show the output in the label and when you click delete and it's gone so that was pack forget now i will change this to grid forget and let's see how it works now grid forget uh, you to use grid forget I have to change the pack to the grid format now. Okay, so to change it, 
uh, this one first let's give some value like row 3 and okay just give grid and give some value like row 3 because it's the output and let's give column as 0 okay that's done let's see where else we have used pack okay entry box is using pack here so e dot pack will be nothing but row 0 column 0 so we have to use uh, grid again here grid row 0 column 0 yep that's fine again button let's change the button here as row 1 column 0 I'll just copy this and paste it here but the row will be changed to 1 and column 0 delete button is again packed let's change the delete button to some other value let's give it uh, row 6 column 0 okay let's see where else we have used pack this is grid mm, this is grid this is grid okay I didn't use the grid keyword dot grid okay let's go ahead and run this again okay so now it looks a little different because I've used grid so you can see row uh, as 1 or 2 or some value and column as 0 and here you can see row 6 is the delete button now I'll give some value like this some name click this works just fine and when I click delete gone as you can see we are using grid forget method here and uh, we give some value like this and when you click this it gives me the hello message delete gone give some other value like this print name done and again by clicking delete it is gone so that was grid forget method so to summarize this video we have used two methods again pack and grid you can use anything depending upon your program if you're using grid you have to stick to grid forget and in case you are using pack you have to change this to pack forget so that was all for this video and i'll see you in the next one